This snippet is Adding Audio Resources to a Silverlight Game. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to add audio files to your Silverlight project. Additionally, you'll learn how to set the values of a collision behavior for an audio file. So we'll get started here with the Beehive project associated with the snippet. And as we can see here, we have a number of different elements that are going to require sound. So for example, when the ball hits the paddle, we'd like one sound to play. When the ball hits one of the honeycombs, we'd like another sound to play. And when the ball hits one of the walls, we'd like a third sound to play. So our first step is to import these sounds into our project. In order to do that, we're going to go up to our Silverlight project, right-click, and choose Add Existing Item. So in order to do that, I'm going to navigate to the folder associated with the snippet and dive down into the Beehive folder and locate this folder labeled Audio. Here we can see three files, block, wall, and paddle. I'll go ahead and control click each one I want to bring in. I could also shift click and then choose open. The audio files that we just brought in are MP3 files, and I'm now going to locate the collision behavior associated with the elements that we want to attach sound to. So the first one that we'll use is paddle. I'm going to go ahead and expand paddle by clicking on the arrow to the left of it, and then I'll click on the collision behavior located here. On the far right hand side of the screen in the properties tab, we can see that there's a collision properties section and there's a menu labeled audio. I'll go ahead and click on that and then I'm going to locate paddle.mp3. Let's go ahead and test our project by choosing project, run project. I'll click the ball to begin. And we can see that whenever the ball hits the pedal, we hear our sound. Let's go ahead now and apply sound to the other elements within our game. So the next thing we'll add audio to are the three walls, left, top, and right. Let's go ahead and start with the top wall by clicking on it. And then within the Objects and Timeline panel, expand, find Collision. And we're going to do the same thing here. For Collision Properties, we're going to set audio to wall.mp3. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the right wall. And then the left wall. Of course, we don't need to do one for the bottom wall because we don't want any sound associated with that. So the next step is to add audio to each one of these honeycombs on our game. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut. We're going to have to add these to each one. This is going to take a little bit of time, so I'll show you how to do the first one, and then, through the magic of editing, I'll show you the final results. But for now, go ahead and click on one of the honeycombs, expand it, click on the collision behavior, and then within collision properties, click on the audio menu, and select block.mp3. Okay, after you've added the block.mp3 audio to all of the collision behaviors of the honeycombs, it's time to play your game. Let's go ahead and choose Project, Run Project. We'll click our ball to begin. And luckily, I'm good enough here so that you can hear the sound for both the ball, the honeycomb, as well as the paddle. Thank you for now. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.